coming up. I'll see something on the rafters. Oh, is it poisonous? Oh, God, I just got bit. Ernie, NASCAR's David Reagan just called. He wants you to come to North Carolina. I'm telling you, it ain't no big deal. I'm totally scared about that. Watch out, man. That could be anything. Be careful, turtle man. Good God almighty. Deep in the backwoods of Kentucky lives a man who grew up wild. You know, there's a lot of backwoods people in Kentucky, but nobody in more backwoods than the turtle man. He was seven years old when he caught his first turtle. He bonded with the animals and learned their ways. Live action! Now he's Kentucky's number one man for wild animal removal. Okay. Not an animal problem around here that the turtle man can't take care of. And he does it all with his bare hands. Crazy, baby! <laughs> this is Call of the Wild Man. <laughs> Turtle Man's animal catching exploits are so legendary. Live action! There's hardly a man, woman, or child in Kentucky who hasn't heard his name. Getting a little dull on that old thunder, old boy. And it turns out his legend has spread even farther. Ernie! Man, David Reagan just called and he's got a problem. He wants you to come to North Carolina. I kid you not, NASCAR's David Reagan. And I am beside myself. Race car driver? Yes, sir. This is absolutely huge to us. We're big fans. This message is for Turtle Man. This is David Reagan, the NASCAR driver. I've got a problem down here in North Carolina with something that's attacking the ducks in my pond. I ain't never been to North Carolina. I heard that there's alligators there and uh, cottonmouth moccasins. And I'm totally scared about that because I'm going up against the unknown. I need your help. I sure would like for you to call me back. Thanks a lot. What about that? I don't know. We better get a road map out. For, uh, that's a long drive. We're not driving. He's going to fly us out there. I ain't never flown in my life. This is very new to me. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what to wear. When I told him we had to fly, I saw just a little bit of, uh, I don't know. But Turtle Man's not afraid of anything. We're going to fly out to David Reagan and get whatever it is he needs done, done. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, you're excited. That's live action. Come on, Lolly. NASCAR, baby. NASCAR. But the boys can't start packing yet. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Because there's a situation at the local theater. That was Pioneer Playhouse. They've got snakes in the costume room over there. Oh. We got to get over there immediately. Look out, snakes. Turtle Man's on the way <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> live action. Live action. Get you, son. 35 miles south of Lexington, in Danville, Kentucky, the 60-year-old outdoor theater in Kentucky State Landmark has attracted over 3,000 actors, including Elizabeth Taylor and John Travolta. But when your stage is in the center of the Kentucky woods, you're also bound to draw some unwanted guests. <laughs> What's up, partner? I'm so happy that Neil called in Squirrel Brady because we used to catch snakes together when we was kids. Oh, man, me is going to try to find these snakes. He's the perfect person to help me with this snake problem. The show must go on now. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Well, you must be Miss Sharp. And I'm so honored to meet you. It's so glad to see you. Miss Charlotte is legendary around these parts for her singing and acting abilities. It's such an honor for us to be here to help. What's the problem going on here today? We have snakes in the costume room. A snake fell on someone's shoulder. Gee. And the actresses Whoa. and some of the fellas don't want to go in and get their costumes. I was just like walking right into the costume room and this snake just fell right on my head. I'm not going back in that room. This is our opening night tonight. We do need help. Most of the time, if a snake starts to coming into a place, it must be because the temperature is changing too fast for them. Since a recent cold front, the theater has found itself hosting several snakes nearly overnight. 
They can't produce their own body heat, so they've got to come to a warm place. Up to 100 snakes can occupy a den, and they're not particular about who they share their space with. Kentucky's timber rattlers, copperheads, and black rat snakes often hibernate together through the winter. So here's the costume room. It's pretty dark. Thank you, Miss Charlotte. Y'all just step out you there and keep the door here. shut. Yeah, just start looking around here. Watch them. Kind of dark they in here. They'd be up in here now. Never know. Watch up above you, too, squirrel. They could be laying up above your head there. Both copperheads and rat snakes climb trees. So in a room with floor-to-ceiling wood beams, the boys could find snakes at their feet or high above their heads. Neil, if y'all see a snake, y'all holler out. Don't worry, I'll do that. There are so many little spaces for these snakes to go in. The clothes, in all of the props, the shoes, these things can hide almost anywhere. These hats here, good place for a snake. It's not a good place oh, to Oh, yeah. There is Neil. He never screws up. He's always calm and collective. Oh, boy. Squirrel ain't doing his job. He's having fun looking at shoes and all kinds of hats. I look like a horse derby. You do look like a Kentucky Derby horse race. We'll do it, partner. Got some holes, Squirrel. Oh, do you? Yeah. When you've got a snake infestation, always plug up the holes. Help me up for a Squirrel. Once you cut off the entrances and the exits. Yatter. Yatter. There we go. Then you can deal what's inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. You see something there, buddy? I thought I seen something there, partners. I see something on the rafters. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, yeah. You got him? I think I do. Aren't you that nerves the same color as a copperhead, man? Oh, yeah, watch that. In less than 10 minutes, a copperhead bite can have devastating effects on human tissue and needs immediate medical attention. I got to get up there, man. He's getting away. Hurry up. Get me up there. Hurry up. He's going in a crack. Right. Be careful, Ernie. Boys, we got a problem. Watch that now. This snake is crawling into the crack. In the position that I was in, I couldn't tell what kind of snake it really was. So I just had to take my chance and grab the snake. Hold the light up for somebody. Neil, where you at? I got you right here. I don't know if I can pull him out or not. Oh, man, come on. I don't want to hurt him. Oh, boy, look at here. Boy, there's two. Then as I look down, there's another snake. It's snake infested here, partner. Oh, it plays it loaded. Guys, yeah, where y'all at? I ain't got no light. I can't see what I'm up against. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, that's so close to getting bit. It ain't funny here. Whoa, whoa. This baby is mad. I just hope he ain't venomous. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I hear you. He's done wrapped up into something here. Oh, f just got bit. Oh, God. This baby is mad. Turtle Man has tracked down two snakes who have taken over the costume room at the famous Pioneer Playhouse. Guys, where y'all at? I ain't got no light. I can't see what I'm up against. Be careful. It can't be a big copperhead. Woo! Yeah, buddy. He's done wrapped up into something here. He... Oh, God! I just got bit. He got bit in the hand. We don't know if it's poisonous or not. Oh, man, what kind of live action is this? Whoa, whoa! Boy, that was almost a strike. Okay. Hold on, man. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, okay. Kind of snake oh, you are. Be tough. Hold the light up, this squirrel. His eyes are brown and not cat eye. Nah, that's a rat snake. We're good. This one is okay. He's a uh, corn snake. Just got the camouflage of a copperhead. That's how his defense is. Oh, my God. I'm glad it ain't a copperhead, guys. Because he would done ate me up by now. The black rat snake, also known as the cow sucker, isn't afraid to defend itself. But its bite contains no venom. Corn snakes hardly ever bite, but rat snakes, they're the meanest. This little critter here done struck me twice. Woo! And he ain't playing. He'll bite you just to be biting you. Oh, yeah. Them cow suckers can be mean. Don't squeeze him, squirrel. Not real tight. Oh, I got him. Yeah, he Boy, he is him. mean. Y'all want to know how a cow sucker got his name? My granddaddy said he walked in a barn and seen that snake something on the cow's gutter. And that's how they got the name cow sucker, right here in Kentucky. And people don't believe it, but it's true. I'm going to call that no worse smart mouth. We got it, partner.
Yeah, I'm going to have to call him Cliffhanger. He got tangled up around everything up here. Hey, 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 I got his buddy. You got oh, one? Yeah, boy. Yes, sir, I just seen the tail go under right here. Whoa. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, this thing's full of rat snakes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Got it. You got him. Easy, big boy. Easy, boy. All right. I think I see him, partner. You got one, squirrel? Yep. That's a lot of black rat snakes up here. Oh, yeah. He's getting across the way, fellas. Got him, partner. Good job, squirrel. Good Yay! job. Woo. All right. All right. Who's got the bag? In the bag. I have caught four snakes. I have searched the room top to bottom. And now I can safely say the show can go on. All right, guys, y'all can go in there and get your costumes on because I've got all the snakes out of there. Yeah! I don't know how to thank you, Turtle Man. Just all another day's work for the Turtle Man. Turtle Man is a person of nature who is able to do a lot of good for a lot of people. More shortbread cookies, man. They good. He got the whole world in his hands. He's got, got the whole world in his hands. He's got, got the whole world in his hands. Hand. Hand. We're going to stay here this time, Lolly. Guard the house because I'm going to the North Carolina and I get to fly on a jet airplane. First time for everything, Lolly Dog. I'm going to North Carolina to see David Reagan. He drives in a NASCAR. He called me in because he has a problem down at his pond. We're actually going to see David Reagan. Can't believe that. That's cool. I ain't never been out of Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> we do have one problem. One. You can't take thunder. What do you mean I can't take thunder? You can't take thunder on Man, airplane. I don't even leave my house without thunder being strapped on my leg or in my holster. I know. Listen. They'll taser you and everything. You can't take thunder on an airplane. But what about a terrorist? What if they got on there or something with a machine gun? I want to have a knife or something to throw at him. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I've never been on an airplane. I don't know what to expect. The closer I get to it, I feel real funny, you know, like, okay, this is gonna really happen here in a minute, dude. <sighs> Spooky. <laughs> I'm telling you, it ain't no big deal. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> but the plane is the least of Turtle Man's worries. Because David Reagan's pond is home to one of North Carolina's deadliest predators. Man, that's poisonous. You need to leave him alone. Just let him swim away. He's getting deeper. I gotta go under and get him. You don't have thunder. Limo. Man. Man. <laughs> I'm down here in North Carolina. I'm so excited. I just got off the plane. I've never even been in a plane before. I thought that was, I said, nothing can top this, you know. And then somebody picked me up in a limousine. I'm gonna order some pizza. You want some pizza, Neil? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, this is Ernie Brown, the Turtle Man. And uh, I need a pepperoni and mushroom pizza. I don't believe you. David Reagan's garage, buddy. Let's go right in here and see if anybody's here. Come in. <laughs> I finally made it. Turtle Man. <laughs> Woo! Live action, man. How are you guys doing? This is a really important job. David is a very well-known NASCAR driver. I'm just glad you called me. How'd you find out about me? I've seen a lot of videos, heard about you on the news. Turtle Man's a legend, and no matter what's going on, the Turtle Man can take care of it. So here we've got our little pond down here. Yeah, yeah. It's a little green. Now, you're not afraid of that, are you? Sure, no, that's my livelihood. When I see that, I know that's good stuff for you. Yeah, I love racing. I love being behind the wheel. Uh, but my second passion is animals and being outside. So I bought this property that has a little pond. We bought some ducks and uh, different animals that, that we enjoy are kind of our extended family sometimes. But there's something in David's pond that's preying on his ducks. We started with four ducks not too long ago. A few weeks uh, after we got them, we noticed one was just gone. Our other duck um, was laid on the bank. You could tell something had tried to rip his foot apart. Woo, let's see what we got. 
I don't know what it is until I check all the perimeter. It could be a fox. It could be a snapping turtle. I just got to look for signs and tracks and see what kind of environment this thing's living in. Hold on a minute. Might have something here. Hold on, man. That is definitely a sign of a snapping turtle right here. Snapping turtles dig through the grass. See that trail? Yeah. Then when at nighttime, when they feed, they dig a little hole around the bank. Look at that hole where it's been dug out. They just sit there in the mud, waiting on a duck or a frog or something, and wham, he'll just reach up and grab it. Whatever they do, they ambush their prey and pull it into the water, and they hold it on the water and eat it. Let's go catch some snappers. Yeah! All right, let's check it out here. Now, down in Kentucky, I get into all kinds of ponds. I'm used to them because I've always got the same little critters that attack me in the pond, so I know what I'm fighting. Bill, I don't have my knife. But down here in North Carolina, I'm like a little lost puppy. I'm like that duck. I could be supper tonight. I'm looking for him. I'm just using this. This is my feed technique right here. Cause right. looking for them bubbles, I pick them up like that, see? And I can get on him. Right now, I don't see no bunch of bubbles yet. Oh man, it's a water monster. Sitting on that log, right over the boundary tree. See it? Cottonmouth water monster. The only semi-aquatic viper in the world. Man, that's poisonous. You need to leave him alone. The cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin, can deliver a venomous bite from land and even underwater. This cottonmouth moccasin isn't eating a full-size duck, but I gotta get this thing out of this pond. He's gonna get it. Because I don't want that snake sneaking up behind me. Just let him swim away. Oh! oh missed it. <laughs> Water moccasins are a favorite food of snapping turtles and may be what drew a snapper to David's pond. It's a good place for our turtle right here. Isn't near? Come on, turtle, 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 where are you? Come on, buddy. This is a smart turtle right here. He is smart. He's a duck killer. And he's got his uh, vine on dodging me. Oh, you see that? Yep. Got bubbles? Bubbles up here. There you go. There you go. There you go. See how that trail goes yeah. up through there? All right. I'm moving right there, man. Man, you better be sure that's a turtle before you go grabbing it. I can handle it. You don't have thunder. <laughs> Good God almighty. After hours of hunting through a treacherous pond filled with cotton mouths and down trees. Oh, you see that? Bubbles up here. Turtle Man's finally put his bead on a bubble trail. I'm moving right there, man. Man, you better be sure that's a turtle before you go grabbing it. I can handle it. You don't have thunder. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, oh. buddy. Oh. All right, here we oh. go. We have a turtle. He's getting deeper. He's getting under his log. I got to go under and get him. Does he open his eyes under the water? No, he can't. He can't. Yeah. He goes down for the turtle, and we see this black, murky water swarming around. I started getting nervous. I thought that he was down and wasn't coming back up. How long are you gonna you gonna I watch? He's been down he... a while. Good God Almighty! He's lifting the log up. I can't tell if he's trapped or not. He's fighting. He was a fighter. I had to give him credit. He had some good calls. He was dug in. A duck ain't got a prayer against that mouth like that. I don't want to take my eye off this thing. Yeah, don't. Don't. I'm going to name this one Ducky. Man, that's awesome. Turtle Man will relocate Ducky to another Carolina pond. 
where he won't bother any more ducks. Live action gave me the chills there a few times. When Turtle Man told me our animals were going to be safe, that was a pretty awesome feeling. That's live action. That is. Well, it was a good day, and tomorrow we've got a little special prize for you here in NASCAR country. All right, sounds good to me, man. (laughs) Woo! Down here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Wow! So big! This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Woo! All right, guys. Hey, David. Turtle Man. Good to see you, bro. Morning, guys. <laughs> okay, I've got a special surprise for you. I really appreciate you coming down. Okay. Uh, taking care of our problems. Right. So, follow me. I've got something to show you. All right. <laughs> get to ride in an airplane, get in a limo, and plus, to top it all off, get in a race car and ride around at 160 mile an hour. Woo, thank you all, and I thank my guys that's helping me and helping me get here, and I can't explain it no better, so live action, turn the man out. Call the Wild Man Continues online. Visit animalplanet.com slash wildman for deleted scenes and more. Live action.